So guys, we are back with another How Divers 2 video. And today, guys, we have a great, great one. Democracy will be spread. Today, we check out 18 stratagems that are not in this game yet. These have come through leaks and their mines, but all look absolutely incredible. And the majority of these as well, we have gameplay for, so you can see them in action. Some incredible stuff to look at people how's it going guys my name is dpj now the winner of my previous 2100 super credit giveaway you can see on screen now if this is you hit me up on my discord link down below now do you guys want to win 2100 super credits or a copy of this game well it's as simple as this liberate this video with a massive thumbs up let's try and reach 44 likes that would be unbelievable make sure you are subbed with those post notifications on and drop me a comment down below i will pick the winner from the comment section as always announce them on my next how divers videos so good luck everybody okay so let's get into it guys and first up we have the airburst rocket launcher now this thing looks like an absolute monstrosity of an actual stratagem i'm not gonna lie to you now we actually have a few stats for these two which is pretty cool now all the stratagems we'll check out today will have stats and details on but for a couple we definitely will now this one right here guys has a calling time of three seconds a cooldown of 480 seconds huge area of effect uh, damage as you can probably tell it does medium armor penetration it obviously holds one ammo, but it can have five in your backpack. Uh, supplies, refill supplies will give you plus three, and ammo on the ground will give you a plus one for this thing. Its range is 350 meters, uh, and it explodes mid-air, so that those small cluster bombs that also do mini explosions, which are pretty beastly. Now, when I first saw this, I didn't know what to expect. I actually thought it was a weapon that you could only use in mid-air against those mid-air targets. That's not the case. You can fire this thing, as you'll see by the game, Play at enemies underground and it will still cause those mini explosions a lot like a banana bomb if you remember that from old school worms on the playstation classic times people but yes this is the airburst rocket launcher and credit for the gameplay for this stratagem and many others to come to emptiness over on the how divers leaks reddit okay so next up guys we have the anti-tank mines now these are obviously like normal mines in the game but these are made to do damage to those big old hefty tanks and those heavier hitting enemies now what we have here is a cooling time of seven seconds a cool down time of 180 seconds it does very very high damage i am told with heavy armor penetration each explosion has a five meter radius but cannot kill enemies above the ground so you'd have to use this guys on those ground targets only obviously now further details state that these mines have a very high damage of 1000 and an armor penetration of five for comparison the quasar cannon has a damage of 650 and an ap of six now the bar titan's head has 900 hp and requires an ap of five to be able to damage it so yeah this could be quite brutal if used right so pretty cool Okay, so next up, guys, we have the Eagle air-to-air -air missile. Now, what I will say is by the time you watch this video, some of these may already be in the game. So do keep that in mind. Okay, so this one here, in regards to stats-wise, it's a very high damage of 600 with a direct hit and a plus 200 explosive damage on that direct hit too. It's got an arm penetration of 5. It seems to shoot two missiles at two random enemies within that 45 meter radius and doesn't seem to prioritize air enemies so yeah keep that in mind when it does hit the game so pretty cool guys okay so now we're going to move on to the nuke now the nuke looks like an absolute monstrosity of a stratagem now what we know about this one is it's got a calling time of three seconds a cool down time of 1200 seconds so quite quite a hefty cooldown time it's the same damage as the hell bomb that's 4000 damage and an ap value of 10 uh and it's got a kill radius or kill zone radius of 50 meters and a push back radius of 75 meters and this can pretty much destroy absolutely every enemy in the game except mission essentials so yes the nuke as you'll see it on the screen now is pretty deadly you don't want to be dropping this on your teammates head or anywhere near your teammates because it's going to result 
in instant death it really is even for yourself but yes guys the new clear bomb is a stratagem coming soon and i cannot wait for it injury what injury Next up guys we have the Emancipator Exosuit and it still hasn't hit the game yet which is pretty astonishing to be honest we've had data mines and leaks on this for quite a while now it looks like quite a blast I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna say I'm the biggest fan of Exosuits uh, I'm still waiting for the vehicles to come I mean how long have we been seeing these vehicles in the game files and leaks and gameplay for each of them but yet they haven't hit the game same with this exosuit now there's also another exosuit which is uh one with a flamethrower on it we've only got a brief little image of this uh, but looks quite cool it's got like a gatling gun on one arm and a flamethrower on the other it's called the lumber exosuit the xo 51 lumber exosuit so yeah this is also going to be hitting the game sometime soon i'm surprised it didn't come with the latest warband it's all based around explosions and causing fire damage and things like this so yeah maybe we'll get it in a few weeks who knows guys who knows but yes two new exosuits that are yet to hit the game pretty cool okay so next up guys we have the ms220 missile silo now a few stats on this one it's got a 15 meter kill zone and it's got 180 second cooldown time now what we see with this one is you call in that stratagem that drops in like a mini missile target designator and then you simply aim it's like a normal weapon it, it like beams out a laser whatever that laser is hitting you pull that trigger and it shoots down this ms220 missile silo so it's looking pretty cool i'm not gonna lie this could be very very useful a very very useful stratagem and it seems as though as well that you could use it quite often in that battle so pretty cool people now, there's plenty of gameplay on this i actually thought this was one that was already in the game i had to double check but as far as i'm aware i cannot see it as of i made this video so yeah pretty cool guys but that is another stratagem we are still waiting to hit the game okay so next up guys we have the carpet bomb now a carpet bomb is a carpet bomb <laughs> we know what this thing is like an absolute monster now this is one of the first stratagems i saw leaked and again i had to double check to see if it was in the game and it seems as though it really isn't now what we know about this is it's got uh, uses of three over a 450 second cooldown with a 60 meter range from left to right where this bombards that battlefield with bombs it's just an absolute beast of a stratagem and again i'm so surprised this ain't in the game already like i said i had to double check but it don't seem as though it's there for me so yeah the carpet bomb is one i probably would expect pretty soon but who knows guys who knows with arrowhead okay so next up people we have the commando what this is is like a basic new rocket launcher but still looking pretty badass i'm not gonna lie now looking at the gameplay footage of this it's got like a slight dip in regards to that actual missile or rocket shooting out of it and it only holds four ammo uh, which is kind of low i'm not gonna lie but obviously you can resupply this with ammo on the floor resupply packs and things like this but yeah but yeah the commando is another one i'm surprised is not in the game as of right now because it does look an absolute blast people okay so next up guys we have the defense walls now there's two of these um we have the em 105 defense wall and we also have guys the egl6 trench wall now both of these you're seeing screenshots of the actual stratagem details on the screen now uh, with a mini little clip of i believe what i do believe is the defense wall that little machine gun with a light machine gun on but from the actual people I've spoke to have called this in in game and have tested this to say it's absolutely as weak as anything like a single rocket from automaton well let's just take this thing out so yeah but these are still stratagems that are yet to hit the game guys okay so next up people we have the bx7 displacer pack now again this is another stratagem i mean we've seen leaks on for an absolute while now i believe this was a stratagem a part of how divers one two and what this does is basically a little description states a portable teleportation device which activates the moment before the user would take a potential fatal blow so it basically teleports you out of that area where you're gonna die which is very very useful now calling time is five seconds use is unlimited and a cool down time of 480 seconds 
So yeah, it could be very, very useful, especially for those harder difficulties as well and getting used to them. But yeah, again, it's one we've seen details on for ages now, but is yet to hit the game. Next up, guys, we have the GL21 grenade launcher. What this is, is basically an incendiary grenade launcher. Uh, yeah, I mean, need I say any more? This thing fires, things get set ablaze. It's as simple as that. Now, the stats you're seeing on the screen now, uh, it's got a calling time of three seconds, unlimited uses, and a cool down time of 480 seconds in regards to how often you can call this stratagem in. So pretty cool, people. Next up, guys, we have a stratagem that's titled AD289 Angel. Now, there's no footage of this at all. We just got details on what it does. Upgrade increased healing energy reserves plus mobile healing also heals NPCs, mechs, vehicles, and turrets. Mission entities will not be healed. Entry mech slash vehicles return the user slash mount on top of mech like other drones will not heal while inside. So yeah, pretty cool. Now in regards to NPCs here, uh, I was like wondering what's going on here. But then we see things like this, this other stratagem, Super Earth Troop Support. Uh, again, NPCs that are fighting on your behalf. Well, this uh, angel stratagem heal these that would be pretty cool if it did. Now, what this does is, well, we see it's got a 60 second cooldown with two uses, no duration. So, I'm in a transport plane to airdrop six soldiers to the player. During the landing of the transport plane, it will randomly fire three to 12 cannons at nearby enemies within an 80 meter radius to break heavy armor. Air drops five soldiers equipped with their liberated rifles and one soldier equipped with the MG 43 machine gun. A total of six. In your inventory so pretty badass people these weapons will also drop from these soldiers upon them dying so that's pretty cool too so yeah the super earth troop support stratagem no doubt will come to the game when we do get to liberate and fight back for super earth which we know is coming to people okay so next up guys we have the medical supplies stratagem um basically what it is we barely see anything of this calling time of five seconds uses of unlimited and a cooldown time of 300 seconds and then lastly guys we have remote explosives here just minor details on cooldown 30 seconds unlimited uses and it states it cools down an explosive tank uh, but yeah guys that is it for the video and the stratagems quite a few here some amazing looking ones that are yet to hit the game for you to look forward to i'm most looking forward to that new one that is shadow of a diet i'm quite interested to see how the displays the pack works also and because i love my grenade launcher i do want to try the incendiary grenade launcher at the same time and probably even the airburst rocket launch there's so many good ones here people i can't wait to try them all out but let me know your thoughts down below my beautiful how divers now guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one